Hey, 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 Vinyl Community, Jeff back again, another time for the A Disease and Christian Rock, Christian Rock, Christian Hard Rock, Christian Metal. Again, briefly, uh, these are the bands I have on vinyl that would fall into the category of Christian Rock, Christian Hard Rock, Christian Metal, not Christian Pop, not Light Rock, uh, it's all the, the edgier stuff, and uh, of course, if there's some gray areas in there for bands that kind of, maybe kind of fit in that categorized, that weren't marketed that way, but maybe do in some ways, I'll bring them up if I think about them. So, we're getting into it, um, we're at the letter N, there was really one band with N, so I'm going to drop in the O's, because there's only a couple band with O's, so this should still be short enough to go with. I looked at my N's in the CDs, and literally, there's maybe three other bands that are in the ends only one of which i think has any vinyl and that would be neon cross which i have yet to ever acquire a copy of so the only band i've got is narnia they've got quite a few uh releases uh, power metal swedish band uh christian Lilgen, i mentioned in the previous m's because he appeared in the band there twice and but this was more or less his main band for for most years so narnia uh, has done quite a few albums. Not all of them are on vinyl, but I've got most all of them, I think. That's one of their earlier albums, and then this jumps in to, uh, you know, years later. And these are more recent, um, the more recent releases. So they, a lot of their earlier catalog either I don't have or they are not on vinyl. And then the most recent one, Ghost, Ghost Town, right? Yes, yeah, so for a second there, hesitated. All right. Then we're going to move into the O's. Now, this first one is one of the gray area ones of Gods and Monsters. The reason being is because uh, even though it is technically on a related label that does Christian music, um, what you've got here is you've got Dean Castronova, who's, you know, used to be in Journey. He's done a lot of other things. You've got Joey Tefola, who him and Dean have worked together in the 80s on, on some of the instrumental albums. Um, and I think Joey has professed to be a believer. I know Dean has, and Dean has released, you know, lots of bands, um, and he writes the lyrics and it's pretty evident where he's coming from. He's got a lot of spirituality, a lot of Christian themes in there. And that goes without saying here, he's a vocalist here. And this whole album, you know, is uh, sons of Armageddon. It's got a lot of that kind of stuff, but you've also got Tim Gaines, formerly of Striper on bass. So you've got quite a uh, you know bit of people here, um, and the lyrics are pretty openly, at times, openly uh, of, of that nature um, of a religious you know nature. So I'm going to put that in a gray area. I'm not saying that they're marketed as that, but I I feel they are because of the lyrical content and knowing who the people are. People are there. All right, Oracle Sila. Uh, an album from the 90s, Power Metal, U.S. Power Metal. I think these guys are from somewhere not too far from me, like Georgia, North Carolina, I don't know. Um, the album was originally released on vinyl a while back by Rock Rocks, I think, and then it became hard to find. I think I got into buying vinyl after that, and it's expensive. But it was recently reissued on a loan records, and I was able to score one of those just, I think, just last year. Great stuff. I love that band. Um, they do have a sing a CD out there that has a bunch of other tracks on it too. But this original release, Sila, was one that I had back in the day, which I love. And then there's another Oracle. Ah, I forget where these guys are from, but this is on Toonsmith Records. This is a 70s rock band. Um, I wanted to say they were from Canada, but the label's from Canada. And I had this album back in the 80s. It's, it's just kind of a rock, hard rock type stuff. Um, but it was great back in the day. It was just one of those obscure bands. I don't know if they've done anything beyond this, but great stuff. 100% proof. They have two albums. I only have one album on vinyl. I really want their first album, and they have like an EP maxi single thing out that I got. Um, and uh, they are one of the early bands from the late 70s who did some hard rock. And then uh, I mentioned them, I believe, because the singer went on to do um, Force 3, which was under the F's. So this was a band he had started at, and anyway, that's their second album, and I one day want to get their first. Um, and then, yep, this is the last one. We're moving into some punk here, One Bad Pig, uh, Texas band. Uh, this is their original, a Christian band, uh, their original release, which was kind of a, you know, self-released album, just straight up, kind of a, 
you know, pop punk at times, a little, 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 a little more aggressive than some of the pop punk. Um, and then they did have a couple albums out, Smash being one of them. Uh, and then there's a couple other ones that ah, either are on vinyl or hard to find. Have, this was reissued, so I have this one. So um, reissued on vinyl. This is when they crossed over into the. They were on. They were on pure metal, right? I, uh, I believe one of those labels back in the 80s. Uh, but this was reissued so that's great there and then they then they got back together nah how many years ago was this in the past 10 years 2016 so eight years ago they got back together after decades away and gave us a new album original singer some you know and original guitar player and you know some other guys in there um, and then this one was re released and it was autographed by the band because i bought it directly from the band so yeah there you go i love this stuff love these guys uh, would love to see if they put something else out, but it's been eight years, so who knows? Anyway, that's it. That's the ins and the O's. So we'll move into P's next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new. Hope you check out something fresh. And I'll see you later. Rock on and rock hard.